hi there in this tutorial we are going to learn about react toast notification so let's see the example first so let's click on delete and we are seeing this uh, notification so let's uh, so let's uh, try to implement a similar thing into our uh, re uh, brand new react project which uh, i have already created so let's go to the vs code uh, for that we have to add the one package called react toastify so let's uh, import that package first once the command completes we can uh, import the necessary things into our app component and later we can uh, create a home component and uh, we will be using the toast notification things into that component okay so package got added successfully let's go to the source app.js and uh, let's remove the unnecessary thing let's remove also unused import and import the necessary things let's say import toast from uh, react toastify it also provides support for css so we have to import them as well react toastify this slash react toastify css okay now we have to configure the toast into our app component so let's uh, configure it here just before the app function let's configure and that's pretty much it and now we can use the toast into our application anywhere so let's create a new component called home.js hello react okay so we have created a uh, one component called home.js uh, so let's uh, add the com home component here and don't forget to import it from home and let's uh, go to the terminal and start the application whether it is running or not oh sorry Let's go to the app directory. Now we can start the application. So it is up and running. We should uh, see the hello react uh, header. Yeah. So let's create uh, one function called notify in uh, home.js file which will take message as argument from it caller. So now we have toast function and we can pass this message into it. Now let's create a button. Now add the click event on click so on click uh, we will be calling this uh, notify function by passing text into it so let's create our function dot notify and let's say hello world okay that's pretty much it and just to provide the text let's call it show and go to the browser and whenever you click on this show it should display the basic toast notification so this is the very basic and you can see uh, we have this close option and if we 
remove the cursor from it it will be uh, automatically dis uh, appear after 5 seconds so let's uh, configure them so we can configure uh, the toast notification by passing the configuration object so first uh, property is position so we can change its position from left to right right to left or center anything so let's say position dot uh, left currently we are seeing at uh, top right right now it will uh, disappear at uh, top left so let's uh, create a different type of toast okay so this is first one is the left second is right third is center similarly uh, similar to top we have bottom also so bottom left bottom right and uh, bottom center so let's save it and see the output let's click on show and you can see we are seeing different uh, post notification and different position not actually different uh, type of but similar type of uh, basic notification at different different position so we can also change it uh, type by specifying the type so we have uh, six type of uh, notification so let's go to the type let's say error if you go, go to the type you can see we have six type of uh, toast notification that is info success warning error default and dark so let's uh, change the type one by one let's say first one is error second one is uh, success third one is uh, dark fourth one is let's say default and info and let's say success of oh, success we have already let's say warning now click on show and you should see the six uh, different type of notification on six different position we can also specify the auto close configuration so let's pass the property called auto close first i will pass false so the first one should not disappear automatically we have to click on the cross close button then only this is going to disappear and we can also specify let's say the time in millisecond let's say two second let's say type sorry auto close let's say 10 second well, let's say eight second let's say type is sorry auto close let's say one second let's say 500 millisecond let's save this and uh, now uh, the all different toast notification should behave you know differently let's click on show see the first and second bottom one uh, got uh, disappeared after one and two second yeah and the, this one uh, hello world uh, warning type of notification is you know it's still uh, appearing because we have disabled the auto close so we have to click on this uh, cross button then only this is going to disappear so this was all about uh, toast notification in react thank you for watching